save those pennies. The Canon EF 1200mm f5.6 L USM is coming up for auction. Timberings, a timbering, a dollar ten. Now, eleven, eleven, another minute, another minute, another thirteen, and fourteen, another minute, another minute, twenty, another bill, one, and twenty, another minute, and one. Sold them a dollar twenty. I think we're gonna get it. Let's have a look. Wetzlar camera auctions, Canon EF. I've got this open here. Let's watch it. What on earth is that? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. I think I'm in love. That was a cool transition. What the actual I think there was an FD version before that landscape. I think I could afford buying that landscape. It's all beaten up. I'm gonna buy this shit. Okay, let's stop here for a second. There's a focus limiter at the top. Minimum focusing distance, 14 meters. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> that's amazing and there's another option between 14 and 30 meters and then from 30 meters to infinity next uh, button down is switch between autofocus and manual focus then you have the focus preset which is a standard uh, button I believe on the prime lenses unfortunately I've never owned a large telephoto prime I'm not sure about that other button down there is what is it Wi-Fi signal strength <laughs> And then you can set the manual focusing speed. There are three settings. One, two, and three. Anyway, let's continue watching. That lens barrel. Come on. That is so huge. I don't think I'm gonna buy this. There are just too many imperfections. Holy hell. Imagine doing a bit of bird photography with this behemoth. You would need two people to set it up on a tripod, I think. Wow. Let's have a look at what they say about this lens on Canon Rumors. The Wetzlar Camera Auctions in Germany will have a Canon EF 1200mm f5.6 L USM up for auction on the 9th of October, so make a note in your little calendar how much will this lens fetch at the auction. That's tough to predict at the moment, but some have already been sold for $150,000. Where's my money, bitch? I ain't gonna keep asking nice! Back in 1993, when this lens was first introduced, I think the starting price, the original price was 9.8 million yen, which is approximately 90,000 US I believe. Considering that, I think this will definitely go between 120 and 200,000 dollars. The number of these lenses out there is unknown, but there are less than 20 of these lenses in existence. Although the optical design is the same as the FD version, this one was optimized for the EF system with a non-linear focus cam, a focus preset function, power manual focusing with three focusing speed, a one-touch revolving mechanism for quick switching between vertical and horizontal formats is possible. Oh, Jesus, I'm not gonna buy it. If it can only focus at f11 at 2400mm, I want all the focus points to be working. I mean, come on, that's a joke. The length of the lens is 836mm, so close to a meter. The diameter is 23 centimeters so three times more than for example my 100 to 400 millimeter telephoto lens how much does it weigh 16 and a half kilos <clears throat> easy if you end up buying one of these i think you should definitely start consulting with your chiropractor or physiotherapist put your head just relax man easy imagine using this with a 2x extender on an APS-C then the reach would be 3840 millimeters i'd like to take some shots of the moon for sure Anyway, I've been thinking about setting up a GoFundMe account, so if all of my subscribers, all 400 plus of you, would be willing to shell out three, four hundred dollars each, then I'd definitely be able to partake in this auction. And I promise once I get my hands on this lens, I'll do a full-on review. Thank you so much for watching, and see you guys very soon in the next one. <laughs> By the way, I'm dead serious.